This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is The Ramble and yes, we go until midnight tonight from the east coast of the United States out of New York City, New York, the city so nice they named it twice, okay, New York, New York. Hello there everybody, how are you? Uh, let's see, what troubles am I having today technically? Let's see, Disney Plus seems to be down. <laughs> oh man, I can't make anything work anymore. Uh, but uh, let's go talk with, uh, let's go talk with Phil, and then what we'll do is we'll be able to, uh, um, get going here. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Hello, Phil. How are you this evening? I'm just fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How you doing? I'm uh, well. Outside of the fact that my Disney Plus isn't working, you know. Oh, you got to pay the bill. No, I paid the bill. My <laughs> the rest of my bundle, the uh, Hulu and uh, ESPN Plus are working. It's just yeah. Disney Plus. You can't sign into. I. It's they've got to be down. They got to be having yeah. some kind of problem. It, but. It'd be nice if they told you when when things go down. You know you. You, you click on it and you get a message back that says we're having technical difficulties. Yeah, they 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 don't they don't have that ability. Once they go down, they don't know what to do about it. So you know. That's hey, that. I see you're in uniform. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm only going to wear this tonight. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> uh, it's a nice logo. Yeah. Although, I don't know where what that those that this up here is supposed to mean. Supposed to be a carpet roll. <laughs> really? Is that what? Yeah, the side the side of a carpet roll. I see. How much you pay for these uh, hats? I don't know. You know, I had um, uh, uh, these um, coupons. Ah, I for, see. Uh, well, no, I I had seventeen hundred dollars worth. When you buy things at the at the uh, convention, mm -hmm. they give you these carpet one bucks. Uh, they used to call them Mishkin Bucks because uh, this guy, Sandy Mishkin, was one of the primary yeah. uh, guys. So anyway, you get these Mishkin Bucks. Each one's worth $25. So over the years, I just kept taking them at the end of the show mm -hmm. and uh, depositing them with this company that does T-shirts and, and stuff like that. You know, if, if I got one more computer monitor or one more pair of sunglasses uh you know i didn't need it right. so I, I i continually deposited them and i i got up to about seventeen hundred dollars and hmm. so uh the other day i ordered 75 t-shirts in large uh another dozen in extra large mm -hmm. and, and so forth and then i ordered some nice collared shirts and then i ordered a few hats and so I said, all right, you know, you wear Brian's hat, and I'll send you mine. Yeah, well, here's, you see, the thing is, these hats are kind of, I don't know, they, they, they have a ridge through them, and the shape isn't right. Uh, that's because yeah. I shoved it in an envelope and uh, uh, no, put a no, stamp No, 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 the shape isn't right. It's just, yeah. they're, they're different kinds of caps, and this is not, they, they're, they're uh, how can I show you the difference? Uh, I don't well, know. Here. Uh, I, I've got uh, here. Here's one that you never liked the shape. No, I, the shape was horrible in that. It's like <laughs> El, Elmer Fudd hunting. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I can't even figure out how to get it on straight. No, hold on a second. I'll go. I'll go get one of. Uh, I'll go get one of uh, Brian's hats. All right. Um, let me see here. Ah, here we go. This is nice. Now you see the difference. It's the way, the way in which it lies. It's kind of like, if you look at the two of them, yeah. this one's kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this one, this one really just is really nice, you know? Yeah, that is it a nice really cap. You know why? It's it's a much higher right. quality cap. You know, I, I, don't, so. I don't know what those things cost, but yeah. they can't be a lot of money, you know? Uh, 
the the idea is. Um, well, I think they spent a bit of money for for uh, Brian's. I, I don't oh, think yeah. these are cheap hats, you know. Yeah. Now, Carpet One, are these for the national company, basically? No, this is uh, one of their providers that uh, uh, deals with um, T-shirts and things. Yeah. So yeah. I, I didn't even pick the hat. I just said, send me a couple of hats, you know. So did you notice anything new? Yeah, you've got your Gabnet logo up in the TV above the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a new sofa. That's it, too. It's our new sofa there. Uh, I like it. Is it charcoal color? No, it's green. It's green. Oh, it's green. And uh, uh, right. let me see here. Yeah. So that's our that's our new sofa there. Okay. Very nice. And uh, you know, I I reshot this with the, I, may, I put on the TV screen. I put the Gabnet logo and yeah, you know. mm -hmm. very talented. Now, uh, what what's that O bag uh, uh, next to the fireplace? Does that hold fireplace utensils or? Where you mean? This? There's a, uh, well, that's yeah, that's, yeah. That's a pillow. Oh, oh, okay. That's a pillow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It's very nice. It's it's clean, and you probably don't sink to the bottom. Yeah. Well, the it look, really makes the room look cleaner and nicer, and you know. It's it's more contemporary. Oh yeah. Uh, there was something about the fabric, though on the old sofa it was like a very elegant uh it was a very expensive couch that i inherited from uh my friend steve and adrian when they moved out of their apartment ah. uh and it's a very expensive one but it you know it got worn out it got lumpy it got all kinds yeah. of things and finally uh you know when uh, we d took care of business here and we got our deposit back okay yeah. I said to Marjorie, I said, here, it's yours. Go out and buy what you want, you know. So she also bought, you can't really see it that much. Wait a minute. I uh -huh. Oh, this cocktail way. table? No, a new rug. Oh, a rug. New rug. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So very it, nice. It looks yeah, great. It's, it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. Yeah. looks uh, more contemporary. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, but I, I thought the old sofa had a very elegant look to it. Like you said, it had just seen better days. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm looking for a new bed, and uh, there's a company in San Francisco that was recommended to me, mm -hmm. McCloskey Aeroflex. They've been there over 100 years, mm -hmm. and they supposedly make the beds. They tie the springs, and, you know, they, they base it on your weight and whether you like to sit on the edge of the bed and, you know, how and where you sleep. Uh, it's a very expensive bed. But because uh, I, I bought, you know, I'd be careful years. about expensive beds. And I'm going to tell you why. Marjorie always bought expensive beds. Yeah. And she bought a really expensive bed a while back. And the whole thing started to sink on one side. Really? It started to just collapse, it started to sink. That was your side, right? It, my side, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we, they then said, okay, well, we'll give you another one. And they sent out yeah. another one. And it did the same thing. Wow. And when we said we want our money back, they said, no way. Wow. So we went out and got a cheaper uh, bed, and it's lasting longer than the expensive bed. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I got one of those memory foam things. They, they, uh, I don't want it. anything that's going to remember me. I, mm -hmm. I want to become totally anonymous. Uh, well, how do you know it, the government isn't listening? <laughs> they are. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the thing about these memory foam beds is they, they sleep hot. And uh, they, the air it doesn't really circulate well. And it, they're... Um, uh, you know, they they break down, uh, yeah. and they're they're not very good beds. Right. And, you know, maybe maybe they're good for toppers or or something like that, but not for the not for the regular bed. Not for the regular bed. No. Alan bought a new bed the other day, and uh, uh, he he I think he spent twenty eight hundred dollars, but uh, you know he 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 needs more than a bed. He needs sort of like a platform, uh, you know, with spikes on the side but, something uh, like that yeah yeah uh so anyway how you feeling i'm feeling okay i went to the uh, neurologist today yeah and um i think i know what my lightheadedness is uh is it the gabapentin no 
No, it may well be positional vertigo. Interesting. How did he come to that conclusion? Uh, I don't know. He, he did a couple of things where he tested me. He said, look at this eye, and this, hand, this hand over here without moving your head. And then I moved to the other side, and he said, your eyes are fluttering. He said, that's a sign of positional vertigo. No, that's called, uh, that test is called a nystagmus. And the police use it to determine if you're uh, under the influence. So when you, when you follow it, at a, at, depending on what degree your eye bounces, it's an involuntary eye bounce, mm -hmm. uh, and the closer it is to your nose... Uh, so you're the, arguing with my doctor that that isn't what the test was that he gave well, me. I'm yeah. telling you, it's called a nystagmus, and no, uh, it's no, an involuntary he, eye bounce. Now, if you don't have the bounce at all, that means you can drink and drive, and they probably won't arrest you. Well, no, but I, I did have some kind of a bounce or something. Oh, at, at, at what, uh, at at, what at, angle? At, at this point, when it went over here. Well, everybody has that. No, not everybody has it. I had it to an extent that he felt that I probably had positional vertigo. Okay, well, if you look up nystagmus, and do you know I'm not going to take your medical word for it. It's not medical, it's police stuff. <laughs> it's well, police I training. don't know what that test is. That's the one where after you do it, you beat the person up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, uh, you know they'll have you follow a finger or a pen or uh, and they'll look for the involuntary eye bounce. Uh, and uh, and well, the, it was something in my eyes that he saw that said to him that I had positional vertigo. Really? Yes. I didn't know that nystagmus would indicate that. But, this is uh, not nystagmus. This is yes, a nice is. doctor. <laughs> uh, uh, doing a test on me, and then he did. Well, a, then he did a whole. Took him about a half hour. He did a um, uh, to check the blood flow to my brain. Yeah, and there wasn't any. Then there, no, it's fine. Oh. I'm fine. No so, jokes. No jokes. I'm fine. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's good. But um, and he said I had a nice stagnus. So and, uh, well, no, nice stagnus is the test. It's not a disease <laughs> it's oh i'll it's ask him the, next yeah. time i see him if he has a name for that test but i doubt if he calls it nystagmus this is something that he's been doing for years he well, every he, the cop's been doing it for years too you know i uh, assume the position put your hands behind your back you know uh, and, and by my, 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 my you have a nice stagnus <laughs> yeah nice stagnus yeah. now i don't know how to spell nice stagnus but there was an actual DUI case mm -hmm. where the defense attorney asked the arresting officer to, to because he said he used the nystagmus test as one way of developing his probable cause for arrest. So uh, he said to the uh, the defense attorney said to the uh, cop, "Can you spell nystagmus?" And the cop couldn't spell it, and they dismissed the case. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. They figured if he couldn't spell it, he couldn't use it. Yeah. <laughs> and if that was his probable cause, then uh, yeah. tough darts. But anyway, so I, w I went to the uh, the uh, neurologist, and he he said yeah, not much change in your in your neuropathy from what it was six months ago. He said, but he said if you want to, I can send you someplace downtown where they can give you uh, exercises to get rid of that positional vertigo. And then I looked online, and there were. Uh, things there that said exactly how it's done. So, yeah. Oh. Okay. And what happens is it's crystals in your ear oh. that you know, ruins your balance. Oh, are they able to wash them out or no. flush them out? No, 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 no. You can only move them by doing head exercises. But oh. uh, the other thing was he then tried to say that what I had when I had that thing that took me to the emergency room is yeah. that it was probably positional vertigo. And I said, I don't think so. I don't think so. I said, uh, it, uh, you know, I may have had some symptoms of what you think is positional vertigo, but I really ate some bad food that night. And it was about eight hours later, and that's when I got deathly ill. Uh, yeah. I said, I've never had it like this. I've never been this. I'm lightheaded, I said, but not like this. I couldn't even get my head up. Uh, and he said, and finally when I left, he handed me a whole bunch of stuff about positional vertigo. And then he said, well, you might be right about what you had. 
you know. So. <laughs> yeah, pay at the desk. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, he's he's you know, he's an okay guy, but you know, yeah, all he does well, is just prescribe the pills for the me. disease du jour is positional vertigo. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that that was my day at the doctor today, and tomorrow I have a dental appointment. To nice. Get, to get my teeth cleaning, or as I call it, mining for gold. You know? Yeah. What, yeah. what they uh, do is they clean your teeth, and then they take x-rays, and then they see all the things they can do to make money. And I don't trust that. Yeah. So well, I, uh, I got one tooth that's a little, little, slightly sensitive, but not, not to cold, and not to heat, and not to anything. It, I don't get it. It's not a toothache. It's yeah. probably another uh, 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 root canal that is going kind of bad. You know? Yeah. I don't want them to touch that. I don't need to. I had one for 10 years, and the tooth got looser and looser and looser. Eventually, it fell out on its own. Yeah. You know? Well, I've got uh, also tooth problems, some bone loss. Uh, now, they and... always tell you you've got bone loss. They well, always... He showed me. He, he took an x-ray. And he showed me, uh, mm -hmm. he was able and, to look at earlier x-rays and... And so what are they going to do about the bone loss? Oh, yes, they want to put bone in there, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah, yes, they do. But in order to do that, they're going to pull the tooth. Uh, they're going to put some bone in there. And then they want to do an implant. Oh, you see? Mm -hmm. You see, now, does that tooth hurt? Yes. Oh, because this tooth doesn't hurt, so... And, uh, and, I, and I get food underneath because uh, there, it's like... You know when they stick that little probe in and they say three, two, one? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been told for years that, you know, my teeth are great, but my gums have to go, you know? This one's a 10. And, uh, and, and they are continually, they give me antibiotics to, you know, to bring down the, the thing. There's some little tab they stick in there. And then... Uh, yeah, I had that too towards the end with this loose lose tooth but it was going for 15 years before they pulled it yeah. okay so anyway my point is that uh, I hate going to the dentist not because of what they do go ahead clean my teeth all right yeah. but now they're trying to find out a way to excise from me several many thousands of dollars even though I have yeah. insurance they want still many thousands of dollars and yeah, I'm going yeah, I'm just going to say only pays half. whatever he want, they want to do. If it's a few fillings they want to do, a few cavities they see, fine, go ahead and do it. If you want to remove this, go. no, you can't. You won't. Yeah. Uh, and, and we won't do it until I feel we need it. You yeah. know? Um, but I would like to replace a crown back here, which is, you know. Yeah. You well, know what, you know what I saw? I went online last night. Yeah. And I was looking at, I wanted to look for a dentist that gave, high, uh, you know, uh, gas. You know, at, They at, all give gas, they just charge. No, yeah, but no, a lot of them just don't give it. You beg for it. You have to beg for it. Then they charge you an arm and a leg for it when that's the cheapest gas, you know, yeah. around. Okay. Yeah, uh, $25 and they leave you on it for a whole half a tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and oxygen. The two of them are not expensive gases, okay? Um, oh, well, we had to buy the equipment. Eh, you know. I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down and just buy some nitrous oxide, a tank of it, and bring it to my dentist and say, here, <laughs> you know, this, this go is to, for go me. Go to one of those places that sells the tanks that fill balloons, yeah. and, you, and instead of nitrous oxide, you get uh, helium. Yeah. And yeah. uh, you know, you but anyway, of... so so um, uh, uh, I I looked at this thing, and among the things they did, they said, uh, if you need a new crown, we can do it right here within an hour. Yeah, because they have those. Uh, they they take a, a 3D thing a, and they a have a thing they put in your films. mouth and they, they yeah. yeah, and then they they take a picture of it. And then they put it somewhere, and it makes the tooth, and they put it in, right. and it's all within right. your vi all within your visit. Yeah, I want that. I don't. Only... I I don't want to have it sent out to somebody. You know, go up. You know, they, uh, what happened was I, I my ex girlfriend, one of my ex girlfriends, used to work for a dentist, uh, uh, not a dentist, but a uh, people who made crowns. Right. Okay. A, a lab. Yeah, a lab. And she said, you know how much those crowns cost them to make. Do you know how much the crowns are? 
And I said, no. She said, 35 half, bucks. half the price of what your dentist charges you for them. Oh, yeah, that's the, the total get, lab charge. The, the total charge for the crown right. goes to your dentist, and then he doubles the price. Well, I got news for you. Most things that you buy mm -hmm. anywhere, they double the price. In retail, that's called a number. Uh, so if you mark it up a number, but not all, that's no, not doubling all things, the price. No, not all things well, are Well, some doubled. things are real commodities, you know, that they uh, only make a small percentage. Well, all of I'm saying is I would like to see where I could go. Let's say I want this crown, a new crown. Okay. Yeah. There's not much dentistry involved in that. It's pulling the old crown, it's putting in a temporary one while they're getting the new one made, and then it's getting the new one made. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I I wanted to, I felt there should be places you could go that are just that make crowns, you know. Yeah, they, they 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 remove <laughs> the crowns. No, they remo no. Just that's this is all they do. They remove the crowns, they measure them, they make them, and then they install them. And, Don't and, they fit them? Huh? You know the the dentist after they set the crown on, they uh, before they glue it into place. They do a lot of fitting and uh well, it's and, a little bit of the, the bite it's all, and, yeah, but, but you know all you got to do is have a person at one of these one of these dental places that makes the crowns who is a dentist basically who can do that for you all right and so just you do go the whole the thing dentist. go the whole the, the whole thing in one place cheaper you know cheaper crowns because why should you pay almost two thousand dollars these days for a crown when in fact it's not costing that mu the dentist that much. All right. Now, uh, one, a person once said to me, how much is a one-inch drill bit worth? You know, and, we, and we'll relate, relate this to the crown in a second. But how much do you think a one-inch drill bit is worth? It's just a little bit of carbon steel, but tell me, what do you think it's worth? I don't know. Well, it depends on how much you need that one-inch hole. So it's the same thing with why are you paying $2,000 for a dentist to fit the crown? It's how bad do you need it? And, uh, and there are, uh, you know, there are rules. And, uh, well, it just, bo you know, it just bothers me that, that the price is jacked up that much. You know, the price is jacked up on everything. It is. You know what it, I thought today? What I thought today was watching these stories about how much... The electric your electric bill this summer is going to be more than last year. It's like it's up twenty percent. Yeah. Okay. What about the distribution charges? Wait a minute. Let, me, like let, those? Me, let me let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. I think, and you're going to disagree with this. I think that uh, the uh, the uh, electric company should be uh, nationalized. I, well, I, I, I think I, everything should be nationalized. No, I mean I think that the electric company should be nationalized because they're screwing us big time. And you don't think the government would screw us big time if they were in control? No, not as of much. No, no. Uh, well, you know, aren't they regulated by the government? Aren't not, those charges not, all? No, no. It, it, look, if, if they are, then the, the yeah. government ain't on our side because every no, year my bill goes higher and higher and higher. Yeah, you know well, much, that's like. You know how much you know, my bill during the summer is for electricity? 300? Try six. Wow. That's what my bill is. Uh, well, my bill at the store, I have 6,000 square feet of showroom, and uh, it runs between 500 and $800 a month, mm -hmm. depending on the time of the year. And mm -hmm. I'm running two big uh, uh, air conditioning units, uh, tons of lighting, uh, six, eight computers that are always on, uh, 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 other things i got a machine that is weighs eight thousand pounds that's got 22 motors in it and my bill runs between six and eight hundred a month you yeah, well, we so got we your, got your apartment and you don't even pay for heat huh? you know it'd be, it'd be different if you had heat i mean but you have steam uh, it's paid for yeah. by the but when, it, when it's summer winter time my bill is somewhere down around 250 300 that's okay. it's still crazy it's still crazy you know, and uh, I guess the studio, I do have a lot of computers on, but these computers, for instance, the newest one I got doesn't burn warm at all. They're all solid state. Oh, yeah. talking about your computer, I went to the Apple store Sunday. 
Mm-hmm. So I said, uh, yeah, you know, uh, what what kind of chip? This is the M1 Ultra. Mm-hmm. And so they have you key well, it the in. The Ultra is 400. Don't buy one of them. Really? Really. Well, you just get the regular M1? No, you get the uh, the uh, uh, the Max, the M1 Max. Oh. The studio with the M1 oh. Max, not the I M1 think, Ultra. I don't even think they gave me that choice. What do you mean they didn't give you that choice? There well, are two. You, you had a little drop-down menu, and you clicked on the features you wanted. No, a, there are two models. Well, yeah. oh, oh, if you if you go for the features and you go for the highest features, it's going to take you up to the max, up to the I was at seven. I was at seven grand, and I uh, this thing should not cost you like mine configured with the way I wanted it. Yeah, it cost me twenty five hundred. Okay. Yeah, and, and it's uh, it's got. Uh, uh, you know, uh, 64 uh, uh, gigabytes of uh, yeah. basic memory. How many memory. cores? And then a, many... a, a, a terabyte of uh, storage. What? Yeah. How many cores? Uh, 10 cores. Oh, okay. So I clicked on like the 20 core. Yeah, 32. you don't need that. You don't need yeah. that. You don't, if mo- most people, if you go online to like YouTube and see people saying, well, what, you know, what should you buy? Should you buy the... Uh, that one, or should you buy the cheaper one? Everybody's saying buy the cheaper one. That you're not getting really? that much more for your money by buying yeah. the expensive one, and you probably don't need it. Yeah. Well, I, I decided I'm going to keep the garbage can, which you know. Uh, garbage can's great. Yeah, it's fast enough. Uh, until Adobe comes out with programs that it won't render, then uh, I'm just going to keep using it. You yeah. Know? Well, that that'll be a long time before that. Happens. You know, yeah. So. And uh, you know, because I I up this to sixty four uh, gigs yeah, but don't, of RAM. Don't 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 you know, don't get that more expensive one. I mean, I if if, if you then if the trouble is on that thing online, if you start saying, well, I want the forty core, yeah, and I want the this and I want the that, it immediately pushes you up to the four thousand dollar machine. And in your case, it turned out to be seven grand. You don't need yeah. it. You don't need and, it. Yeah, well, I understand. This is doing a beautiful job. I've had I've yeah. really no trouble with this. I've had trouble with programs that aren't up to the yeah, task. Because it's right? more advanced than the programs yes, that exactly. it's... Uh, exactly. Uh, well, just uh, if you want some story starters, uh, we had a good guy with a gun in, uh, in Green, at the Greenville Mall mm-hmm. stop uh, an active shooter in, within 15 seconds and uh, saved hundreds of lives. So there was an example of a, uh, of a shooter. And the other the There's other one, there's one. Yeah, there's one, yeah. but the other interesting thing was, I'm, I sent you a copy of uh, this guy that I follow on YouTube, uh, a former military guy, mm-hmm. and uh, he was breaking down the Uvalde uh, shooting, and uh, you know, where the, where the kids died in Texas. Mm-hmm. So. These the the videos of the uh, of of the scene showed cops just sitting there cleaning their hands with uh, sanitizer. Uh, yeah, sanitizer. Now the guy that was on the phone was on the phone with his wife, who happened to be the teacher in the classroom, and I believe she got killed. Uh, but um, that that was the guy on the phone, so you really can't fault him. But all these other cops, they were just standing around doing nothing. The door was unlocked. Yeah. The kids were screaming for help, and uh, this guy was massacring them. I believe that every single one of those cops, including the chief of police, should be held culpable mm-hmm. uh, for, for their inactivity or inaction. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But, uh, but anyway, I knew you'd that... bring up the one good guy with the gun. Of course you did. <laughs> And, and you know, you know. Uh, there was uh, there was a uh, there was 435 uh, shootings uh, in a uh, multi-year period where it was an active shooter, and of those, 75 uh, had a good guy with a gun that stopped it, and uh, 49 were stopped by bystanders. Do you know how many gun deaths there were last year? Uh, less than COVID, I think. Uh, well, are they are these gun deaths suicides or actual homicide? all gun deaths? 
uh, was it fifty thousand? Uh, that's my guess. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. That's a lot, Phil. Yeah, but most of them are suicides. Not most of them are suicides, Phil. Yeah. No. No. Well, I'd have to look up the statistics. Go because, look up uh, the statistics, as you call it. Statistics. Statistics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, statistics. Uh, it's nuclear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let me just right. uh, let me bring these people in, okay? All right. At least there are two people here. There's uh, Alan and there's Brian. Hello, Brian. Hundreds of lives that I know that act that guy who killed the active shooter, of course, he saved lives, but not hundreds of lives. The guy had two AR 15s and a hundred and a hundred rounds of ammunition. I don't think I was he anything. spent an hour. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you're only you're only a, a, a giving a guess, speculating as that. No, no, this is reported. Been. No, no, uh, no, 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 Phil. You're, they were speculating how many it's deaths there fact, would have been. They, the guy, if, if a person wasn't killed, then the rest of them are speculation, Phil. It's not a fact, Phil. Oh, they have to die first for it to be a fact? Yes. Well, you, you, can't have, you can't have to a guy. To say that you saved several hundred eight, lives, eight, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, because this guy could have laid waste. You know yeah. that that that, uh, that mall didn't allow concealed carry, but the guy was con uh, sealed anyway. Uh, and well, you know, how do you know he, he's concealed? Because he was just sitting there having uh, lunch with his girlfriend, and he's not supposed to have a gun concealed in that mall. Uh, it's against their mall's policy. But if it wasn't for this guy, uh, there would have been a, a lot of people uh shot hundreds died thousands thousands hundreds of thousands hundreds of thousands of people millions would have died if millions. he hadn't stopped that guy yes alan so you're i want to comment on two things uh a lot of deaths are going to laser crowns laser made crowns and you you know alex you go in and they take a picture like you said yeah yeah and they and they send it with computer to a to a, a machine that takes a block of whatever they make the the crown out of, and it laser cuts the thing, and he comes in and fits it in your mouth. One day thing. What a great system, right? Well, right. Well, you know they can do it. According to this uh, uh, dentist, they can do it during your one hour visit. Right. 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 The laser. I, I had a I had quick. a friend that worked for a company called Ivaclar Vivident. And they invented that machine that uh, puts this special type of crown, and they have the lasers that cut the thing, and uh, then they have well, a this kiln. Was some other, this was some other company. That they no, invented. and they have yeah. a kiln that they put the... Uh, cr uh, the what did you the say? A tooth? what? A kiln. No, it's a kiln. Whatever. Uh, so they put it in there, and they heat it up, and it changes the composition of the material, and that's when they can fit it in your mouth. Well, I wanted, uh, to, make a, I wanted to make a clarification on what Phil said. Uh, Alex, your, your, your uh, doctor, your neurologist was probably right. So horizontal gaze nystagmus, and she didn't know the rest of it, Phil, is a medical term. It's done this type of thing is medical horizontal is this way vertical is this way since she used to be a cop if somebody's got vertical gaze nystagmus what drug are they on i don't know we just use the uh the the horizontal uh and only look for the eye bounce but after uh, it's a the medical court, it's a yeah. medical thing yeah how do you spell Alex, nystagmus right. it's called yeah the, the whole name is horizontal gaze nystagmus you obviously never had to testify in court. When you no, were not on that. Anybody. Not you. Yeah. And Phil wasn't really a police officer. He was a janitor in Richmond. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, yeah. whatever he was, uh, you know, he was, a good, he, was nice a, he, he was a good guy with a gun. That's right. Yeah. Saving hundreds of lives. Saving thousands. Every day. Every day. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah. So anyway, um, so uh, anyway, I went to I went to that doctor today. Tomorrow it's the dentist where he'll try and charge me a fortune. And then uh, uh, let me see here. 
Things are expensive there. $2,000 for a crown? Around here, it's like $1,100. And how much are these oh, the How much are these laser ones? Oh, oh it's a, th a couple thousand. Oh, uh, no, no, no. My dentist says you just got a laser, and he's charging an extra hundred dollars if you want it done. You know day. that machine cost a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. His cost forty thousand. He obviously didn't buy it from the Dumbo that you know of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, maybe they've gone down in price since yes. my friend was selling them. Yes, Tony. I actually had uh, about two years ago my tooth crack in the back. The lady on the avenue didn't take insurance. She had that machine. It cost me twenty three hundred dollars for the crown, but I had to wait like an hour or hour and a half in the chair. She goes downstairs and pulls it up. So it was like a two hour visit, maybe a little right. more. That's what but Alex was why saying. Why are they charging yeah. that much money for that? Because Alex, Tony, it cost me twenty three hundred out of my pocket. Coming. Have she you seen his mouth? Have you seen his mouth? That's Tony. why they charge. Yeah, what was that. the one in the back? I could, <laughs> when I visit, I'll show you. It's actually, Alex, it was the bet. It was like she was great. The crown went right in. It wasn't even like. It's probably the best crown I've ever had. If I had a couple in the back, but I was like, I said, "Can you?" Really you would just this? think. I you would just think wait. that this new method of doing it would have changed everything. It took know? like an hour. Would have changed the in. cost of it. Well, like the 20, reason it, it might have been I, like, I, but it was at least two grand. I know that. Yeah. I, I think I think it does change the the cost, Alex, and I think after a dentist does enough of them, it it, it pays for itself. You know, because he's got to pay a dental lab to make the crown. You know, they take the impressions and they send well, it off to the dental he, lab. Well, he may have to pay for that machine, but he's also getting every penny on the crown. Absolutely. Well, they, lease, they lease those machines. So he they lease. I'm going to trust you, Phil. They well, lease I told you I had a friend that sold those. For, uh, there uh, are other, there, uh, Phil, them. there are other machines. I saw the one last night had another name for it. Well, 3M makes them also, and so he went from Ivaclar to 3M. But the, no, he didn't the, go to 3M. The Ivaclar M. machine. I don't know what, what is the one that has the kiln and all those other kiln. things. Kiln. Yeah. Kiln. Yeah, you're killing what me. What do they need a kiln for? They take a block. <laughs> because of the material the material, the material uh, changes in its molecular composition when it's heated. Can we talk about Trump or something more exciting? Yeah, yeah. Joe Biden is cute. Sounds so. good. I'm ready. That's <laughs> cancer. That's funny. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, da, 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 da. So, Alan. Is that, is that what TikTok said, Tony? No, Actually, no. You know what it is? It's, I'll send you the article. It looks, le it looks like a legitimate article. Same day it. crowns. It's called CEREC. I'll send it to you right now. I don't uh, know. I, I've heard of that. Yeah. Uh, Sarek, art of the state process that allows our staff to perform a variety of dental rest dental restoration procedures in a single visit. Awesome. Yeah. Now they also make the tooth implants in that same kind of machine, but don't they have to make the post go in first and let no, the bone Phil, grow over Phil, the post? Phil. That's you know, what, what happens doing? is, Phil, with an implant, <laughs> they put in a screw basically with mm -hmm. a post on it okay right. or not with a post on it actually they put the post in later on and first they extract the teeth yeah and then they and they sew it together they let it heal for like four months and then they stick the post of the screw the, thing the, in the there. screw thing in there and it sticks and in there let for, about, heal for about two or three point. months and Brian, then, that go through wait, your wait a minute, and then they put a crown on top of it so that would be the same crown they would make with this machine. Right. You know? So. No, that's that's mm -hmm. correct. But Phil's fan, friend, who always carries an extra 100 rounds of ammo for his gun in his pocket, developed this, the first laser cutting. I don't know. You're an idiot. Hey, what kind oh, of you're bed? You're one to you talk. Get? Yeah, what, what kind yeah, of bed did you, you get? You, you and your kill. Uh, your it's kill. a, it's a, uh, it's. <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, wow. it's a uh, Sealy Tempur-Pedic. It's good for your back, and it's got like two thousand individually pocketed coils in it. Oh, I thought the Tempur-Pedic was see. the memory foam. No, no, memory foam. Anybody that buys memory foam is a sucker. Yeah, memory foam. Uh, that shit's no good. Yeah. Yep, that's for sure. 
Wait a minute, there's, there's Charlie. Where are you, Charlie? You must be somewhere. You're not in your home, are you? You're somewhere. No. like a Motel 6. He's in Arkansas. It looks like <laughs> Arkansas. Yeah. Yep. I'm in booming Brinkley, Arkansas. I can tell. <laughs> and Motel what, 6, you're right. And what takes you to Brinkley, Arkansas, besides a plane uh, or a car? <laughs> no, I drove. I'm on, my, I'm on my way to a family reunion this weekend. Oh, okay. All right. In Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, all righty. The Bluegrass Probably. State. Yeah, I haven't seen the state of Bluegrass State. It's a beautiful state. Yeah. It's a beautiful state. Gorgeous. Uh, you know, we... We were talking about teeth, but you're in Arkansas. Nobody has teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Texas either. <laughs> Neither in Queens. <laughs> Look at me. But anyway, so um, I uh, so my blood flow to my brain's okay. Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. That's important. If you get lightheaded. Well, I, I said to him, I said, you know, I, he said, I noticed you were in the emergency room. Because he, he was Mount Sinai, so everything in the, all my doctors get all my stuff, and I said, yeah, and he said, what happened? And I told him, and whatever, and I said, and then they, I said, they gave me every test, they tested every inch of my body. He said, not quite. They didn't do in the stagnus. No. So <laughs> then he gave me a, a, it took about a half hour, various tests to check the blood flow to my brain. And to my eyeballs, by the way. Hmm. Wow. And so how's uh, the blood in your head? Yeah, so and I'm fine. I got you know, he said you have no problems. Anyway. Good, good. He so said, with all this poking and prodding, uh, you're gonna live a little longer? You know, look what they did to you in the emergency room. How many tests oh, how much was it? I don't much know. I'm bill? still I'm still looking. Yeah. Uh, and I don't, I haven't seen anything yet. Wait a minute, let me let me go to my, what is the name of that thing? My, uh, oh, my, uh, your portal? M- my Medicare. Ah. Oops. My Medicare. Ah. That guy Remember, my, my guess was 50 grand. No, we can't. No, I'm, oh, I'm thinking. I bet it's more, I bet it's 75 grand. That's my guess. Uh, no, my, my <laughs> take is, is that probably it's somewhere around i mean what they tried to bill yeah uh, uh would be uh what do you call it uh well i'd say i'd say twenty thousand. you know try, try to build you walk yeah. into the er and it's twenty thousand around here let me see yeah here. the last 30 days last six months let me see here apply well here here are uh, these are just some doctors. I I haven't seen anything. Well, wait a minute. From the hospital. Maybe it's free. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it, yeah. It, it, it'd be nice if it were free, wouldn't it? Uh, let me see here. When was uh, when was the uh, when was that particular thing? The eighth of yeah. There's some of them that came in forty two dollars, thirty five dollars. This is what Medicare paid. That Medicare, was for a tongue depressor. <laughs> yeah, Medicare I'm sure. approved amount. Four four hundred sixty-seven dollars, Medicare approved amount seventy-eight, sixty-eight, one hundred nine, uh, zero. What was zero? Um, Two hundred sixteen. This is what Medicare pays. This isn't what was billed. Yeah. Okay. See, on the two hundred sixteen dollars paid, what was billed, I think, was. Yeah, the amount charged was nine hundred ninety-three dollars. And they paid how much? Uh, they paid uh, two hundred sixteen dollars. Well, but you know, if they're going to be part of Medicare, they have to accept what Medicare says it's worth. All right. <clears throat> but I, I, I don't think I've gotten all the stuff. I don't see anything there for CT scans. I don't see things there for, you know, echocardiograms, uh, on and on and on. So. But I don't know. Maybe some of those are for echocardiograms. I haven't checked. I will later. Hey, Brian. Yeah. He likes your hat better than he likes mine. <laughs> yeah. Where's yeah. my mega? Yeah, well, here. Well, hold on a second. Let me show you. Yeah, this is a hat yeah. off right here. We got a hat off. Nice hat. Nice, one nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then this hat. 
Yeah, well, you know, I figured you're... Uh, you're if it you're were red, red, you could put Make America Great Again and there'd be no difference. <laughs> uh, tear out your hardwood floors. Make, make America carpet again. You no know, hard, I, I, I wonder if Disney... Um, Disney, if, if Trump actually made those hats look uh, the way they do because he wanted them to look like and Elmer. they were made in China, of course. He well, no, it, look, it looks like actually, Elmer Fudd. Uh, yeah. Yes, they do look like Elmer Fudd. But if you, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It says Made in USA. You see the flag? Yeah, yeah right. Made in oh. USA. Unlike, yeah, unlike believe that. Tony yeah, but Stark. that label was made in China. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> They're made in China. Printed in China. They said Made in the USA. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cali frame headwear. So does that mean it was made in California? And uh, they didn't even vote for Trump here. A few of us did. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, you got to remember that California. If you if you leave San Francisco and uh, uh, Los Angeles, and Los Sacramento, Angeles, Sacramento you, and you, you, it's it's right wing. Absolutely. Sacram yeah, in between in between Sacramento and and Oakland or San Francisco is Lodi, where I go, and there's guys with the trucks with the two big flags. You know, ones. Oh, you go you go to Vacaville, where Phil and I go sometimes for a synagogue. And it's it's very Republican there. You know, though, uh, this is the first election that I didn't want to put a Trump sticker, or the second election, that I didn't want to put a Trump sticker on my car because I didn't want somebody to vandalize it. Hmm. Yeah. Smart. You can always cover it up with a uh, Carpet One sticker. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Now, I took all stickers off. I used to have pro police stickers and things See, like that. See, what's also very nice, might I add, about uh, Brian's hat, mm -hmm. nowhere on here is the name of the company. I just said he's no it's Just the logo, right? Yeah. But you got the Nike logo on there and uh, on the brim. Is that a Nike and, logo? Yes. Yeah. Wow, it sure is. Mm -hmm. That might be a $25 hat. Yeah, well, no, because they, they're exploiting uh, people in China, ripping out their livers to make those hats. <laughs> make another thousand. You're not leaving. Oh, boy. Money. Don't you love this, Charlie, whenever we have Phil on? <laughs> all the, yeah. mis all mm -hmm. the misinformation. Yeah, hey, you know, you, you want to buy a Uyghur liver or a kidney? No problem. Made in China. You know, hey, Charlie, yeah. Charlie how, many, how many people are going to be at your reunion? Yeah. I have no idea. Is this the first time since COVID, right? You guys have met? Yeah. Is this a class reunion? <laughs> no, family. it's not family reunion. Family reunion. Okay. Because yeah. don't go to class. At your age, don't go to a class reunion. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, I haven't my, gone to one yet. It's going to depress 50th, you. My 50th class reunion for high school is coming up uh, in a few months, and I said I wasn't going. I didn't want to go back to New York to see people that I didn't even like when I was in high school. Why the hell would I want to fly across the country to see these people now? Exactly. Exactly. You know? Right. Because you might get some class. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was lucky to get out of that class. <laughs> you know? yeah. What high school did you go to? Uh, it was Lakeland High School in, Ma in Mahegan, New York. Yeah. And uh, uh, Lake Mahegan is up by Yorktown, uh, uh, you know, up in Westchester, almost to Putnam now, County. Now, to prove that Americans have the, low, the, the uh, uh, no, uh, what's the word, uh, uh, where you can't remember things for a long time. Alzheimer's. No, or no. Yeah. Dementia. Amnesia. No. Uh, they they have no retention. No retention. Yeah. yeah, is the fact that the first lady of the uh, of the U of Ukraine had to come here to remind us that there was a war going on over there. Yeah, you know. You know her initials are ZZ. Uh, her last name Zelensky, and her first name is like uh, Zytophone or something. And her last name is Top. <laughs> hey, well, I was thinking of that. She doesn't have the beard, though. Uh, anyway, no uh, comment. Uh, she did. She, I guess she's from Ukraine. Maybe she does have the beard. Yeah. Well, we, we, we just don't. We just don't have a good uh, memory of stuff. Our you know? attention span is. Zero. That's the word I was looking for. 
Do you think it's the media that is no longer? What was in that word flow? again? I don't have the attention span. Attention uh, span. Uh, yeah. yeah. They, they I, have Charlie, these, I, just, I see Charlie's being careful about wearing T-shirts that say sayings on it when you're in Arkansas, huh? <laughs> Somebody will look at that and say, "No, oh, but boy. stand up, stand up a little oh, bit there, Charlie." That's a oh, fake news. I mean, what does it say? Yeah. False. Oh. Funny because it isn't. Oh. No, it's funny because it it's true. That's oh. that's a computer for not false. Oh. Okay. Okay. See? We didn't. We couldn't where you were at. I couldn't see you. It just looked yeah. like you were wearing a black t-shirt. <clears throat> Does everybody black like black. my new background? I think, yeah, yeah I, Gabnet. I, huh? That's my new. No, but also that's my new couch. It's our oh, new couch. Oh. Is that is that uh, like charcoal gray? That's uh, the no. It, <laughs> yeah, he says it's green. It's green. Yeah. It doesn't it's look just, green here. And, no, it and, doesn't have enough light. Yeah. yeah. It's got, and, and and here is a new rug. Uh -huh. so. mm -hmm. Yeah, you paid retail. And did you notice my new <laughs> opening to the show? No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. We changed. Everybody the do the drink. Oh, wait a minute! It had Alan and uh, Jack stuff on it. What? Uh, 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 maybe that was a PSA. It was Alan and Jack no, on no, Jack's no, no, show. No, no. It was yeah. stuff on Jack's show. See, I'd play it for you guys, but you wouldn't be able to see it. So. Yeah. Unless you I like that your exchange computer. where Brian is talking about marrying Mandy and becoming yeah, Brian yeah. O'Brien. Yeah, that was cute. Well, that the promo. Yeah, but I have that a whole new open, I, opening where that, I... Where that's, I, that's cute. I redid that, the, that the guy uh, saying, uh, you know, the cartoon guy. Re oh, re yeah. Did, I, I redid that. that because what happened was every year I didn't make up a new one I just simply laid over a new guy a new announcement saying the year and after a while it was never in sync I thought that's because Rob lost weight and yeah. that's why you, yeah. you changed yeah. the so, cartoon I guy know, I redid it I, I redid it I redid it and uh, uh, made it right in sync you know and that's me acting it out yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I put in all new visuals, <clears throat> all new graphics, all new uh, of New York City and so on. And it, uh, nice. You know. I'll it, have to pay attention next time. You have to pay attention at the beginning of the oh. show. Uh, going, going back to Ukraine stuff, though. Yeah. I, I just saw, you know, some other stuff, and they have the stand, stand with Ukraine, you know, this old stuff that we said before. And, I mean, even Ukraine's not standing too too high right now, right? I mean, is anything going to be done? I mean, well, I mean, I think I think I think something happens. should be done. I think we we should we will be very ashamed of ourselves when that country falls. You know, not very mm -hmm. nice. Not very. I nice. I mean, bombing bombing schools now. And, yeah, and just everything really bad. So I watch the BBC stuff. And there are nine million uh, people uh, have nine million people have already left Ukraine. Now, they only had a population of 44 million. And, you know, within the first weeks, uh, like 2 million left, but now 9 million. You know, eventually there will be nobody there uh, to resist, and Russia will walk through it and take No, the, who left is the, is the families left, the wives yeah. and the children. Mm -hmm. uh, the men stayed behind to fight. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. So you're wrong again, Phil. No, well, there's a, they were also saying that there was a lot of uh, inv invalids and blind people and people that uh, yeah. uh, couldn't get out of there. They're trapped. <laughs> Can you imagine being blind and and having bombs falling, you know, on buildings next to you and, and not being able to, you know, to, to get out of there or be in a safe place? What an awful, awful way to live. Yeah, but you don't know it. <laughs> being blind is already bad enough. I, I didn't say they were deaf. <laughs> you know, you know. Well, what what happens if you're not blind and not deaf and a bomb lands on you? That's bad too. Yeah. Well, they they should have been one of those nine million that got out of there. But uh, you know, Why I you think go over there and evacuate those people. Yeah, I I think what's happening is uh, the reason that they're not getting the money, they're not getting the th weapons that they were promised, is that uh, the media isn't. Uh, covering the story as much as it used to mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it used to be right in the forefront of the news and and now you know the, all they talk about is january 6th I'm, I'm so sick of, i'm so sick of what i'm sick of 
is that there are like five stories mm. in the news, and that's all that MSNBC covers. I don't mm. watch it anymore. Fuck the news. Yeah, I mean, I get so tired. I, tell, I tell, say to Marjorie, Marjorie, if they were, if this were a channel and they were running the same movie over and over again, would you watch it? You know, you this know is true, this is also true of Fox and of CNN and all of them. Yeah, yes, Brian. I, I'm having a hard time keeping up with these killers, with the shooting guys. They start talking about Parkland, and then and then they have the guy that went to trial. There's another guy who went to trial, and then there was just a shooting, and there's a shooting last week, and and all these guys that they capture or they die. I keep forgetting which one is which because there's so many now. In, in in San Francisco, where was it, you guys? Not in San Francisco. I think it was Chinatown. Where these guys went right up to this guy who's going to work, and they shot him. They have it right on film, and that was just like two days ago. Well, you know, if they go around killing everybody that shoots people, yeah. we're not going to find out why this stuff happens, <laughs> you know, because we're not going to be able to interview them or do an, well, an exit interview, get, you know. They should be able to get their computer and all the other stuff that they left at home, uh, you know, and be able to analyze, uh, you know, well, what they do that. Work. But the, the desire is, first of all, to shoot somebody rather than to go for the leg or to go for some part of their body which would disable uh, you, you. Alan will tell you the same thing I will that that does not stop the threat. If you're trying to stop the threat, so that's what they told to, you in cop school. Yeah, well, it's, it happens to be that's true. That's what they told you. It's not true. It's not Alan, bullet, right? Alan, I'll, let this guy uh, bring you, him bring him to reality here. You shoot me in the leg with a bullet. I think I'm going down. You Maybe. are going down, but this other guy that's hopped up on PCP is just oh, going to uh, keep. Are shooting. they all hopped up on PCP, Phil? In yes. Bill's neighborhood. Wait a minute. All, all of them are are at, in, in in Richmond. They were, and, and that's <laughs> yeah, and that's why hundreds of thousands of people are dying every so day. Is because millions of people and millions. People Alex, while they're Alex, on PCP. the best way to stop the threat they is shoot. a head is a headshot. The absolute best way is to go send a bullet through the brain. But that isn't always practical or easy to do. So well, target. we usually sit, we usually go for the biggest part of the body and that's center mass. And you hit a couple of times and the person can continue to shoot until they bleed out or you hit something vital. And you, the reason Getting a hand is not, cops get shot with their hands out with a gun. They get shot in the hand all the time. Because the bad guy has- hit, And they continue to <laughs> shoot. The bad guy has tunnel vision, and he's right. looking at the gun, and he shoots the gun, and and we know cops uh, that got hit and got lost their thumbs because they were going in, uh, and the guy shot him and uh, shot him in the hand because they, they were focused on the gun. God, do I hate this country. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Time to get rid of all the guns. Let's okay. start with the AR-15. Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Tony Trumpy. Yeah, I mean, I want to ask Alan a question. How many times did you have to fire your gun when you were in duty? Did you ever? Um, how many times you're going to ask or ask? <laughs> ask you. How many? You know, how many times did you have to actually pull it out and use it? Actually, physically fire. pulled it out daily. Used yeah. it. I was in two shootouts. Really? Yeah. Any, I, ne any I never had to shoot anyone, but I pulled it out. Uh, I didn't of, say I shot anybody. They shot. We shot. Nobody got hit. I pulled it yeah. out any number of times. <laughs> yeah. They beat. They yeah. have that Just on like film Louis on night. Yeah. yeah. Well, now I'm in trouble for it. Door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy. yeah. I just yeah, I, every I, day. I, every I, day. I, Mar Marjorie and I both alert. agree. We both hate this country right now. Just hate it. Yeah. Just detest it. The only thing that's worse is when Trump was in office. It's terrible. I mean, it's absolutely terrible. I mean, uh, you know, you try and pass things in Congress that are just, you know, things like climate change. Come on. You're not going to tell me there's a climate problem. Have you seen Europe right now? It, there's, yeah, and they and they've had this issue for a while, but there's a pollution problem. I don't think there's a Phil, climate. Phil, problem. Phil, you know what it takes to move something in, in it geology. Is climate, it is the planet saying, "Fuck you, you can't do this to me." Basically, no. and if you uh, if you have that attitude, you're going to be killing people, Phil. 
you're going to, you may it's as well just cyclical. line them up with your little gun and shoot them. It is cyclical. Things like this. No, this is not cyclical. How many years? Yes. Climate changes, climate ebbs, it flows and whatever. But it doesn't do what this is doing. Am I right, Charlie? You're the science yep. guy. You're yeah. right. I agree It'll be with money you and too, air Alex. conditioners. I agree with you too, Alex. <laughs> you know, it, it it's horrible. That's and it's you're horrible a kiss that ass, anybody, Alan. it's imp- it, it's ridiculous that anybody uh, would vote against doing something uh, against trying to put in more wind, more solar. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with that? Wind and solar aren't going to power the grid. You got all of these Teslas that you got to plug in. And in Texas, Charlie, in Texas, they said, don't charge your Teslas uh, because the grid isn't going to be able to handle it. That's because hey, the that's because they be, Republican. Well, tell yeah, them what. Well, wait a minute, hold on a second, Phil. Tell them what they did in Texas, Charlie, about the electricity. They did absolutely nothing. They separated from the the uh, national grid, and and then proceeded to let let it completely run into the ground. Yeah. They don't take care of it. They can't handle extreme heat or cold. That's a, that sounds like a Republican doing that. That's right. It's been run by Republicans, and they run it into the ground. Who was no. the woman that was a Democrat that was uh, uh, that was the governor of uh, Texas? Ann uh, Richards. Ann Richards. Ann Richards. It was her fault. <laughs> oh, look who's there. Hey, Adrian. Hi. Mm. Hi. Hi. Yeah, hi. She still got COVID? Oh, no. No? Good. No. Are uh, you hey, over, are you I, over hmm? yours? Yeah, I just got over mine, and then they uh, they want me back to work on Friday. It's been ten days, so really, then, they miss you, huh? Yeah, and then you guys don't know, but on the Monday show we talked. She she got a little hurt. Actually, one. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. On the Monday she, show, she got <clears throat> hurt, or she talked about it on the. Monday. Uh, she, she talked, talked about, about it. getting hurt. She, she fell off the bed at night because I was sleeping in here because of my COVID. So she slept in with mommy, and somehow she went off the bed and landed right on her chin so Ow. inside Ow. here inside yeah. here was Ooh. cut like a really big cut and i got mad because i took her to er on saturday morning and they said oh just bring her home she'll heal and i said no i want a second opinion and then they actually called the doctor ear nose and throat person they gave me some uh mouthwash medicine and it's actually been healing they say yeah. because kids their age in the tissue in here but when you see it you pull Laura, down yeah you can Laura, see yeah, you could see her jaw underneath there is really nasty. Right, chlorhexidine wow. or something. You put it in your mouth and swish it around and spit yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and you, now it, uh, it's almost healed all the way. Are you feeling better, Adrian? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, next time, push Daddy out of the bed. Let him hit the floor. Usually <laughs> yeah. she does it kicks too. Okay, go. Say bye. Yeah. Say bye. And you, you combine, you know, falling Bye-bye. off the bed and having that happen on top of the COVID. Yeah. And, and poor baby. <laughs> yeah. But I, I've had like, I've had like it before COVID, before when Tiffany had COVID, then I couldn't go into work. And then we had the, the, the 4th of July break and then she had COVID and I couldn't go to work. And then I got COVID, couldn't go to work. So I haven't gone to work like in three weeks. So I've been doing Zoom calls, but it's the first time I'll be in on Friday. So. But you were able to go to Disneyland, right? Yeah, there was a good break in there between everybody. So, so uh, well, how convenient. It's, and, and then Simon, <laughs> and Simon, didn't, Simon didn't get it at all. Wow, wow lucky him. Yeah. That happens though. I've, I've, I don't know who I was talking to, but they said their whole his whole family got it, and he didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. I, my friend, I've never had COVID. My and, my best friend, he drove up from Disneyland. Uh, I think he froze. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. Brian, can you, if you hear us, uh, you froze. Where's yeah. your sign, Charlie? You're frozen. Uh, it's at home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he probably doesn't know. Uh, he, well, it all depends on what's happening on his end. There we go. Oh, there he now is. I, okay, you were frozen. You were frozen. You were like this. Yeah. Tell the story. Your internet connection is unstable. Oh. oh. Yeah. You well, must have Comcast, I'm, too. <laughs> uh, no, it's crazy. Looks fine now. Simon's playing game. Hmm. Yeah. I bought a new game today, a new video game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
kill or be killed? No, they're saying, a lot of people are saying it's the best game to be out this year. Oh. And it's a, a good family game. Oh, it's uh, called, uh, uh, for, uh, action shooter? No, it's called Stray. Yeah. And you're a cat. Okay. Have you heard about this, uh, Tony? It's got a picture oh, on the cat. On the cat, it's got a picture. I, I, have, it's just, I have the Nintendo, so I don't think it's a Nintendo. Nintendo? Oh, you still have a Nintendo. <laughs> I got the Switch, yeah. I got every one of them, yeah. I love Nintendo? That. Was this one of the old Nintendos? No, I got the new one. Which? The new oh, one? Oh, well, they didn't make this I'm for the Nintendo. Up. I had a Pong game. That's Atari, yeah. No, Remember but it's, Pong? It's, it's about it's a cat and it's yes. a cat going through this uh, robot world basically, and trying to survive it, you know. Mm. But it's a short game, it's not a long game, and it's really it, the cat is adorable, you know. You know, Tony, without without Atari and without Pong, who knows where we would be today? Oh, I love my video games. Without an LSD, do we know where we'd be today? There's a good show on Netflix. Uh, Change my mind. Yeah. Have you seen that, Alex? No. Yeah, it changed my mind. Is that, that the guy that goes good. to college campuses and uh, and then talks to college students? Uh, changed my mind. No, not no. that guy. No, but it's uh, wrong again, so Phil. I asked a question. I believe I had nothing to drink, or I'd be drunk by now. So <laughs> the first one he did was LSD. <laughs> then he did uh, something else, and then he did MDMA. So uh, uh, MDMA was really good, and the, the uh, LSD stuff. I mean, he credits. So our cartridge, the one we use, we used to use PCR, which is we take the DNA in here and we split it and we glue it back together millions of times. Mm -hmm. And they said the guy who invented that was on LSD when he was discovering that. And wow. they, they credit the computer. They, they, they uh, credit a lot of stuff to LSD. Did they credit some of my early, earlier radio programs to LSD? <laughs> I was going to ask you. I know you <laughs> actually, did a lot of other stuff. Did you actually, LSD? no, I think when you were listening to me, I did a lot of cocaine. But by then, yeah, I'd been through with, I've been through with, I was through with LSD. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Was that more New York time? What? Was no, that more no, New actually, York it was, it was when I was living in Houston, I did a lot of acid. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, because I I had read uh, Aldous Huxley's Doorways of Perception, which is mm -hmm. about his experiences with uh, LSD, mm -hmm. and uh, I was I was fascinated by it because it well, could be used <laughs> a very constructive drug, and you could bypass years of psychiatry with just mm -hmm. one LSD session, uh, and, yeah, and microdosing. That's what they call but microdosing, and that's what they're trying to get legal again. What they're round dot like window pane, you know. But what they're doing also the other drug, uh, psilocybin. That was number two, episode two. Yeah. Yeah, psilocybin and yeah. and psilocybin so they're that. using a lot lately. Uh, yeah. In fact, Ronnie, my ex-wife, took a course of psilocybin with somebody when she was dying to make her get through mm -hmm. the issues of dying and the fear of dying. Valium works good. Well, no, this, no, psilocybin really works. They say oh. that it's helped a lot of people. Right. Uh, 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 Give some to Phil. Maybe he will be not so negative all the time. You ever see what that stuff looks like when they have it in the jar and it's got some sort of liquid around it? Who, who would eat that stuff? You don't eat it. The, the mushroom? absorbs it and you make tea out of it. Hey, we, hey, we, uh, are you? Alex Bennett. So, so Ronnie was using that to mm -hmm. help. They, they, they did show a couple of cases where they were using that for uh, psychiatry. And they were like, uh, this one guy had a problem about his parents that got murdered. And he actually went back on the LFD trip and, and tried to resolve some of those issues. What like was, that. what's the name of the cool. show on Netflix? You said oh, change my, my mind. My mind. It, it's brand new, so you'll see it. It's uh, 13 <laughs> episodes. There's only three so far, and they do a lot of research. You know, they talk to Tim Perry and and those kind of people who are really involved with these with these drugs, trying to get them legal again. Yeah. So they're already on Netflix, right, Brian? Yeah, yeah. yeah just start. Oh, maybe I'll start watching it tonight. You, you, knew, I you, was... knew, you knew Timothy Leary, right? 
Yeah. Is that yeah. the Netflix Alex? with commercials or without oh, commercials? Yeah, they without they commercials. Next, yeah. the, the, the guy I was talking about, the Change My Mind guy, was Steven Crowder. It's called Louder with Crowder, and he's, he sets up a booth at a college. And oh, he, this is real, real history of the drugs. They yeah. go back into the history and the guys who are really driving a lot of those. Did they go back and uh, talk about? Did they talk right. about? They went back and talked about how it all started. Yeah, they, how it started, what the drug was used for, how no, they were not, using not, it, no, and not, then how they. Did they talk it. about? No, I mean, let me the hold on a second. Hold, hold, hold on a second, Phil, yeah. please. Uh, no, I mean the beginning of LSD or what we called LSD was a thing years ago. There was a. Um, disease that was known as St. Anthony's Fire, in which entire towns would go crazy, and they didn't know why. And hmm. they finally figured out that what happened was the rye in the town, because rye was a major staple of French food, uh, the rye went bad. And when it went bad, it created a substance called ergot. And ergot was the main ingredient in LSD, hmm. it was a kind of chemical version of ergot, uh, hmm. and uh, entire towns would go crazy, and and eventually a guy by the name of Dr. Hoffman, who was uh, living I think in France, uh, uh, suddenly was trying to find a cure for migraine headaches, and he was trying several compounds. And one night he was drive, riding his bike home. And all of a sudden, his wheel looked like it was melting. And, you know, I mean, he suddenly had the, this incredible trip that he was going on. And when he woke up the next morning, he tried to backtrack and figure out what went on. And he remembered that in one of these tests, he had licked his finger. Yeah. yeah. And that was Hell it. That, that was it. And, and that was the beginning of uh, 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 lysergic acid diethylamide tartrate. Yeah, Twenty five, but uh, I think they were saying the absorptive skin or something like that, and that's when he figured out. Yeah, hmm. mescaline is the next there, one. There was uh, there was uh, Baba Ramdas. Did you see and, that the, uh, the, uh, Tony had his hand up? I was no, going to ask you a question, a drug yeah. question. Yes, I've never done any drugs, but I was going to ask you a question. I find that what hard to believe. Drug? Yeah, LSD no shit. <laughs> what, what was a better trip, Alex? LSD or cocaine? If you had to say. Well, was LSD a, was a trip. <laughs> cocaine was a it was a drug. It was a high. Oh, it was it was a drug. Sex okay. on cocaine is fantastic. You got to try it if you ever have sex, Tony. Yeah, but you can't get it up on cocaine. You got to take a quaalude well, too. The best, really? the best sex <laughs> I ever had was on uh, uh, ecstasy. Yeah, really? ecstasy I never, is I never the had warm that. and fuzzy drug. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, ecstasy was not a dangerous drug. Right. And even any doctor you talk to will say it was not yeah. dangerous. Uh, but man, was it great to have sex on! It what was is it just like? Is it like a hyper? Or is it what kind no, of? No, it's, it's, it's exactly what they fuzzy. say it is. Ecstasy. It's the love yeah. drug. It's the love drug. Mormon. Drug. I went to many parties and met many people. I you go there. <laughs> yeah, so. You notice on the air he doesn't say that he used. Who? 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 Brian? Who? Oh, you Brian. went to many parties and met many people. Many <laughs> people who were high. <laughs> <It's not laughs> many, many. Oh, and and what were they like, Brian? Well, they were melting. Uh, <laughs> no, but there are a lot of fun stuff. But ketamine was very fun. Ketamine, ketamine I like. That was, that was my fun stuff. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. But, but yeah. Yeah. You did ketamine. Yeah, that was a lot of ketamine fun. is horse tranquilizer. Hey, they have human tranquilizer too. Okay. And I, could, and I was I was a connoisseur. I could tell the difference between all of them. <laughs> you know the difference between Aurora and Lemon? <laughs> you remember that? No. Aurora was a chemical no. company. Right. And Lemon was another one. Right. And they were both seven fourteen. What? The uh, Aurora seven fourteen, which was quaaludes, which was quaaludes, yeah. quaaludes. Yeah. yeah. And what was lemon? How, how to change? Lemon was a quaalude. It was too. Uh, when Aurora stopped making them, lemon, they started saying lemon. Mm. They used to have a, a drug in uh, Spain, 
and you could buy it over the counter. And it was called Dormadinas. And it worked yeah. a little half a dose of Quaaludes in a pill, and you could go into any pharmacy and buy them. Mm. And mm. Uh, yeah, they came, and they came in a little little thing with the, the ten of them wow. in the tin. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, changing the subject a little bit. Did you ever watch uh, that that show where people get crazy on airplanes? And they got to get, and they or they're drunk, and they get thrown off. And there's another one I watch on YouTube where people are trying to get into Canada, and uh, they stop them at the border. And if they've had any uh, legal issues, or uh, they they've got a little bit of marijuana or something with them, they make they, they can't come in. Or if they have more than ten thousand dollars in cash, you, you ever you ever watch that one? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Well, uh, well, let me look uh, the name. It's actually interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you happy, by the way, uh, uh, Brian, with Netflix? I haven't been watching that much Netflix because they haven't had much on until this show. But, yeah, I'm not that happy. Because I told Marjorie tonight, I was saying, <clears throat> if, if I didn't live with you, I wouldn't be subscribing to Netflix right now. There's, yeah. there's really yeah. not that much on it of any great worth. And uh, I I just, you know. Yeah, I, I agree. The only, I just saw this because it's like brand new. And then I said drugs in it. So it, it, it uh, captured my interest. <laughs> They're going batshit because they lost a million uh, subscriptions. Yep. Right? Yeah. But They're going to lose me too. They just but, raised the price. You know what? The whole the whole COVID stuff. You know, Peloton's doing terrible. Yeah. All these we have a Peloton that, sitting in the foyer that Marjorie's trying to sell now. I know, I know. Uh, but I, all these companies that were, you know, all the in in home stuff. That's that's the companies now that are sort of suffering a little bit, and you know, oh well, it's a risk, right? Well, so, I mean. Why, it, the fact is, I, I think that I think that what happened with Netflix is they priced themselves out of the market. They just raised the price again. I got a yeah. price uh, increase, and you know, I, I, there's nothing new on Netflix. So I, I'm I just got Hulu, and I'm probably going to get Paramount Plus, and I'll get rid of Netflix because I I got you know well, how many Hulu is very want? good, and if you want a good deal, although I can't sign on to Disney tonight for some reason. <laughs> But uh, uh, although I can go to Hulu and, and ESPN Plus, uh, they have a uh, uh, Disney has a Disney Plus has a bundle, which includes Disney Plus, uh, uh, Hulu, and uh, ESPN Plus, and I think it's only something like fourteen ninety five or nineteen ninety five if you want Hulu without commercials, which well, I prefer. Yeah, but I, I don't I don't watch Disney. I don't like those things. And I don't, uh, I don't watch ESPN because I have no interest in sports. Yeah. Well, Marjorie uh, yeah. likes ESPN Plus, and she loves Hulu. You know. Yeah. They've got yeah, my favorite no show is back again. What we do in the shadows. And, yeah. You know, I don't know if any of you have watched that, but it's it's wonderful. No. It's just wonderful. Oh, but that I mean, show I was talking, yeah, talking but, about was called Nothing to Declare. What show? Uh, the one on YouTube where people are trying to get into Canada. Oh, it's okay. called Nothing to Declare. It's actually pretty interesting. Well, YouTube doesn't have shows. YouTube has shows that people put up. Right. This one's called Nothing to Declare. Mm -hmm. And there must be 100 episodes. Hmm. What were you saying, uh, uh, Alan? Your mic isn't on. Yeah, you, he did us a favor. <laughs> I, I was just saying I, I like declares. They're good. They're tasty. And... This thing that Phil said that they did a hundred episodes, they're all Trump rallies. No, they're not. Idiot. <laughs> now you can take a drink. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I just think that, uh, you know, I've, uh, the trouble with, I'm paying nineteen ninety five for for Netflix because I want to get 4K. They're charging you for 4K. Wow, All these other horrible. groups like, like Disney and so on don't charge you extra for 4K. How come you don't just like get Netflix and, and in your 
group of friends. Well, here's, share it. here's what somebody suggested you do with any of these. Get Hulu and watch Hulu. And if there's nothing on Hulu anymore that you want to watch, unsubscribe to it. You can subscribe to it again later when there's some more stuff right. on it you want to watch. In other words, <laughs> you can drop them. You can go back to them. You can do all of that, you know. Why not? Yeah, I, I'm somebody that can afford a couch and a carpet like yours, I wouldn't worry about twenty dollars a month. It adds up, Alan. It, you know, uh, it you, does you add. Start, up. It, you start looking at all these crazy subscriptions, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't have all those crazy subscriptions. Yeah, that's because you're Prime, a schnurrer. I have Prime and I have uh, Netflix, and Netflix is new to me, so you know, there's a lot of stuff on it for me. Now. Pretty soon you're going to lose that because they won't let people share the Netflix screen anymore. Uh, if there are people that, uh, you know, uh, they're have... only doing that in South America. Really? Yeah. Really? They're only doing that. I thought in they South were going to do it uh, <clears throat> in the states. They no? they cl keep claiming they're going to, but you know something, I think with all the people that are quitting, I don't think they want to take the chance now. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I think they that, warned Phil not to give it to all his neighbors. Well, I didn't. They, they, you know, they—they they are. I don't even remember my password, but they—they're uh, raising it another buck, and uh, I, you know, I think they've raised it a couple of times, and yeah, just this password, year. Yeah, I thought your password is I go down on Trump. Yeah, really. <laughs> but you can get the commercial version of of Netflix soon. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Why would you want it? Well, oh, because that way you don't have to pay as much. Yeah, but there, have you seen anything new on there? I mean, I don't. Uh, I haven't seen anything I want to watch. But Marjorie's always looking for stuff on there to watch, and she's watching some weird, vague movie that nobody else watched except her. You know, but of course it's it's a Netflix original. Uh, oh, there weird. she is again. There's there's the there's the babe. She wants to say goodnight. Yeah. Boy, right. well, uh, that, uh, that, that, you know what? In mm -hmm. three minutes, it will be good night. It will be good night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and look at the look at that. I love that streak in her hair. That looks great. It, you know. It's pointing to your cabinet in your picture now. Oh, see, see, like. see, I got a new picture there. This is our new couch too, Adrian. Why don't you get a picture of Adrian instead of the cabinet TV thing? Well, that we could do that too. You know. We can make her the uh, we can make her the poster child. Absolutely, that's for, his for for Gabnet. We can, you know, yes. you can you can watch yeah. Gabnet, or you can turn the you can feed a hungry child, or you can feed the uh, change the page. That she would be a great. That would, that's yeah, cute. Yeah, be a great. Yeah. She has a very waif like Patreon. Look. Huh? What what, is, what what are these guys that have a Patreon channel? What, I don't. I have no idea. Don't get into that with me. I have no idea how anybody makes money on this uh, doing this but they do uh hey um, um jeff I no 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 I, just let him stay <laughs> i think he's asleep okay don't, don't everybody good night wait phil, phil thank you so much as well as uh alan thank you i appreciate it uh adrian and brian uh nice to have you here uh, anytime you want to come on adrian we love seeing you you know don't tell her that. So we oh, don't tell her that. Is that. I don't say that to Tony. Okay, so you know, because I know what that entails. Good night, Jeff. Uh, good night, Tony, and good night to Charlie. Everybody, wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. There they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Jack Bishop is next over most of the same gabnet. He'll be here with the intersection, and he'll be taking your calls at uh, on Skype at GabNet Live. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, you know what I'd like to say to you. You can see her. Yeah. Yeah. Tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Have a nice night.